All right, we got a Stolting uh, soft serve machine with a very tired compressor. So we're pulling the charge now. The pressure's fine. Uh, it's only three pounds, so I knew it wouldn't be a problem. Um, these units, one compressor runs both of the barrels and the hopper. And we're having a really rough time with this unit specifically when both barrels are running. Side glass is clear, proper charge, TXVs are set 21 and a half, like perfect. If both barrels are running, the left one really doesn't, uh, doesn't pull down. And we went around and around and around trying to find what it was and ultimately it's a 2013 compressor and Stolting uh, and a very wise person who knows these specific machines well says, yep, the left barrel suffers because the way it's piped uh, if a compressor starts to get weak. So, here right. we go. So I like about this, it comes with some adapters. That's really nice. Um, if it weren't for this wiring bundle right here, this would be the easiest compressor in the history because it's right here. Um, we just got to torch this out. We've got to torch that out. You can see why then I say about the wires are just annoying. <clears throat> so it's all right. We'll put wet rag on everything. I contemplated just cutting this, just cutting it right there and not unsweating things always ideal for me if we can just cut and not unsweat. The other thing I thought about before I got here, just thinking this out, was what if I, right, let's say, uh, what if I just cut the copper here? Cut the copper there. Okay, cut this, pull the compressor out. Then I can take this and make a new one, right? Use this as a, uh, if I don't want to unsweat this, I can use this just as a model to make a new one just like it. Torch this out here so we're not near the wires, okay? And then when I'm done, we just, or you could even do it in here, it wouldn't matter. Haven't decided. No yet. sense in doing any sweating in there that you don't have to. So out here, we put the fitting in that's gonna take the discharge line. Um, my suction line still got its fitting, so we're gonna just clean that up and I've transferred over the port. All right, so we welded it over here away from the wires and then pivoted it in place. I'm not gonna lock it in place yet, but now we've moved the wires back to the other side. We're gonna rewrap everything again, clean these really good, seat that. We should be ready to move on, baby. So order of operations, boo-boo. I should have changed the dryer while I had it out. So, I mean, it wasn't a big deal because I could get to it from over here and here, but it would have been a whole lot easier when I had the compressor out. So, hey, when you have the compressor out, uh, that's when you should torch. All right, so I didn't show you this, but these have AXVs, okay? So what you do is you run one barrel at a time. This is my common, my communal, what's the word? My commutative total? Boy, I think I'm smarter than that, but I'm not. This is the total. This is when both barrels are running. You run one barrel up at a time, and then you dial it to 21 and a half. I can tell you, when we stop and only one barrel runs, 21 and a half, dead on. So each side is running 21 and a half. And now, when we run both, which this was the test, they were both at about 30 degrees. We fired them individually, set them for 21 and a half, then we fired both at once. Now I'm running 25 and a half, but that's fine because I pulled down real fast. So we've resecured all of our wires. Uh, yeah, man. Winner, winner on this one.